WrestleMania 7 will always go down in history as quite literally one of the biggest failures in WrestleMania history. Just a year prior at WrestleMania 6 in 1990, the World Wrestling Federation filled the Sky Dome in Toronto for a monumental match between Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. Warrior won the WWF Championship and would hold on to it for the rest of 1990. But as the year turned, the United States was in a growing conflict with Saddam Hussein and Iraq. So Vince McMahon saw this as a way to sell WrestleMania 7, which was to be held in Los Angeles, California at the Los Angeles Coliseum, which would have been the most attended WrestleMania in history at that time, as the stadium had a capacity of over 100,000 people legitimately. Now enter Sergeant Slaughter, who spent his career defending America and even being on the G.I. Joe TV series Sergeant Slaughter would go on WWF television to sympathize with Iraq and Saddam Hussein, which resulted in one of the most controversial angles that wrestling had seen in some time. See, there had always been turncoat or foreign heels in wrestling for years, but this angle was done in such a way that really struck a chord with the public. Either way, Sergeant Slaughter was now loyal to Iraq and the USA needed Hulkamania to save him, dude. First thing was first, though. We needed saving. So Sergeant Slaughter captured the WWF Championship from the Ultimate Warrior at Royal Rumble 1991. And sure enough, that put Hulkamania in the position to save America and win back the WWF Championship in front of a record crowd at WrestleMania in Los Angeles. Sounds like a good plan, right? Well, not so much. As it turns out, there seemed to be a negative backlash against the WWF and Vince McMahon for running this angle. There were also more and more rumblings and nudgings going on about the steroid use in the company at the time. And sure enough, that summer, WWF Dr. Feelgood, George Zahorian, would go on trial. Whatever the case was exactly, business was down sharply, and so was interest in the WrestleMania 7 show. As being just weeks away from the event, the show was moved to the LA Sports Arena, which would seat about 15,000 people, as opposed to the massive stadium size of the LA Coliseum. The move was not even mentioned on WWF television nationwide, only the local market of Los Angeles was made aware of the move so as to alert ticket holders. You see, this was way before the days of the WrestleMania crowd traveling mostly from overseas. The event was just in quote, taking place from Los Angeles. Now in WWE lore, the official reason for the move was for security reasons. And this excuse matched up due to the sensitive nature of the Hogan and Sergeant Slaughter angle. However, in reality, only about 15,000 tickets had been sold to the event just weeks before the show. And I guess it's possible that sales could have ramped up in the weeks leading up. But either way, the gate would have been a massive disappointment had it stayed in the LA Coliseum. The show itself was one of the more forgettable WrestleManias as it was your typical 90s WWF show, which featured a huge list of short and forgettable undercard matches held up by two main events, the Hogan Slaughter match, as mentioned, of course, as well as the Ultimate Warrior facing the Macho Man Randy Savage in a retirement match that was probably the best match on the card. WrestleMania 7 will always be remembered for the controversial angle and the switching of the venues. So let me know what your memories are of WrestleMania 7 down in the comments section. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And until next time, thank you for joining us. Thank you for watching.